So hi, my name is Daniel Gunu. Um, this morning I am um, I wanted to share with you about a topic um, what you are passionate about. As an entrepreneur, a um, lot of books that I've read and uh, a lot of people say that it is always a good thing to start a business from the from to start a business in a field where you are passionate about. To start a business about something that you're passionate about for example if you like making cakes it is always good to do to go on the that field for example as for example for me as an accountant it will make sense to do a business in accounting field and so on so i think yes that is good but it is not always a good point because there there is what we call um I think shareable skills, I don't have the right uh, word to do so, means what if, for example, I, I have worked as an accountant for many years, I have developed, uh, I have developed a set of skills that can be transferable to another profession, not necessary as an accountant. I can end up being a baker or I don't know, a jewelry designer, but what I want, my point is they, they are some set of skill that doesn't necessarily uh, are built or link into a profession and that can easily be transferable to another field. So if you, for example, have been work, uh, working as, an, uh, as a, market, a marketer, let's say, uh, I don't know, mark, in the marketing field, right? for 20, 30 years. And now you wanted to do something else like a food, uh, a food business. It is possible. And so what my point with this video is to say that it is not always um, that you will be successful if you do something that you, you, you are good at. Yes, because you can be good at something, but it doesn't work. And then you start a business with that and it doesn't work. It sucks. So what I would say is every time when you have a business idea to wait, to wait if the pro and cons, for example, what what skill are necessary to succeed in this particular field? What skill um, need improvement? What skill am, am I having? Like what skill uh, I need upgrade with or uh, what skill um, I might already have and that I need improve in improvement in so yeah so for me it is always a good idea to sit down um, and think about it and not all, only go with the idea that you should start a business in the field that you have been working in or in something that you like it is good to work and to do something that you like that is a uh, you should be grateful if you are working in something that you like and that you are comfortable in but I think it's not a good idea to just only remain in the, under that field you can extend and look for other things going with the skill set skill, skill set analysis do a skill set analysis what are you good at what does the field that you want to invest in the required as a skill what skill can you you think you can improve that you already have and that you can work improve that in order to be successful in that under that field how long will that take for you to be successful to to to, to have those skills ready to go so if you want to start today or oh, let's say i want to start a food business but you don't know how to cook it would take you a long time to get to know how to cook but maybe you are good with number and you could be uh, handling the cash of the business you are good with operation management with strategic planning and the only thing that is missing is that you don't know to cook means that you can hire someone and work with that person on your food on, on your food business so it is not always or oh, do what you are good at or do what you like but it is a skill analysis that you need to do and also to find around you people that can complement and uh, complement the skill that you already have in order for you to succeed in your new venture. So that was my tip for today. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Bye.